it's Kalaxon and it's Hunter, and we're gonna be talking about Ruby episode one, whatever it's called. I don't, I don't know. This is sort of a recap, and it's sort of a sort of eventually Cal an, ranting analysis and, and, and picking up and stuff that really isn't there. And, so anyway, you know. I wrote notes the second time that we watched it because we watched it twice. Um, so if I don't think I'm gonna show any clips uh, from it, so this doesn't get like you know thinged from Rooster Teeth. Uh, but we're just gonna vividly describe some All right, things so here. Alright, so it starts out, the first thing we see is, like, how the Grim are made, essentially. Like, they yeah. crawl out of this They pool. crawl out of this cesspool of yeah, black. Like, like, yeah, it's like tar, almost. Which is interesting, because they finally, like... They finally eat, animated liquid. Water, water which, yeah. which is, like, more difficult that to do. That isn't and, water, though. That's, like, really. sludge. But, they, but, like, later on in the episode, you see, like, a person, we'll get to that, but you see someone pouring water out of a well, so... Yeah, so they, they've they gotten finally, a lot better with their water animation. Because before they never had that so that's what and if an you think about it animation. blake is gonna be on a boat so there's gonna be lots of water <laughs> around her uh so that was really nice <laughs> in, in in um in your and in so, your notes you say it's beautiful yeah uh, so <laughs> i won't go that far but it, it was an interesting open they're in the nether realm place and we know this from ruby Glim grim eclipse well we don't know this this is just your speculation well, the, i i think it's just they're on that dragon island in the end credit sequence though uh there's a song and it's the end credit song and basically it says um from from the nether world you came or something like that and it's all rhymy you guys can look it up it's probably on the wiki yeah i think that's where i got the lyrics so we're pretty much it's been confirmed that they came from this other, the grim come from this other nether world yeah. whether salem is situated there is yet unknown i think confirmed is a little I mean, why would they add it in the song if it wasn't relevant, right? Like, because I don't think that... I think I don't think that this music is as much a, you know, d delve into secrets as you think it but is. But so far, the music has been a very good uh, teller of secrets. If you look at every other Ruby song that they've made, like, if you look at Divide or Sacrifice, like, it's a lot of foreshadowing. And I think this was a very blunt way of doing some exposition, and I like that it was in the song. Anyways, so then we see, the first thing we see is they the have almost like... The first thing we like, see is like a castle, basically an Elsa-style castle in the oh, we never, of, we never actually see the exterior of the castle. Yeah, we don't we see, see, we we just see, see an, the inside. We see like a boardroom where we have the, if you saw the opening, there's the three new villains we haven't seen before. Four. Four new villains. No, no three. 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 Yeah, yeah, three. So we have Tyrion, I mean, which is the yeah. guy we thought looked like a character from zoku zoku no not from, zoku sorry from fairy tale yeah. i don't know what the fuck a zoku is <laughs> zoku sorry we have hazel who's very quiet he's like the he's big the, guy and then he, he kind of sounds like beast from beauty and the beast if you guys need another reference um, and then there's the, the guy with the mustache which is so sure <laughs> we don't know where everybody's from yet but let's take an educated guess and say that well we already said this in the thing yeah so I'm we don't really need to so what walnut what's his name waltz what well, well, Doctor Watt. Watt I don't think it says doctor. Doctor, yeah, she says doctor or All something. Right. She says, I pr I'm pretty sure she says doctor. Watt. I don't think you could hear Cinder. it under her your own screaming, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, he shits on Cinder a lot. Uh, oh, by the way, people were worried because Emerald and Mercury were not in the trailer. Emerald, They're fine. She, you're the, she's the Emerald is the first human Emerald's character the we first see. Pre, yeah, Emerald and Mercury are the first people that we see. Um, uh, they don't say much. They They're, look they out the been... window and they look really scared. Like yeah. if you see that about that, like they look like like what the fuck did I get myself into? Like that's the mm -hmm. look on their face. Um, and what we see is that uh, originally we thought that maybe c these were more of Cinder's underling, but really they seem to all be on the same, yeah, uh, same hierarchy. However, comma Salem's in charge, and Cinder is really her favorite. Yeah, you see if that because because well then we see well then you see the scene where because Walt Walt gets really like. Pissy. shitty with her and so because he believes that uh, he failed although yeah she salem, believes that Sa he believes that salem failed but no salem cinder failed yeah cinder failed cinder, salem believed that oh cinder God. was still successful <laughs> yeah you're messing so, up the the people's so, names um and so they ba we basically have just a quick scene of exposition yeah Sin and uh, salem is being 
is fixing Cinder. Yeah. She said that we're gonna continue on her treatment. Uh, there's some weakness to the maiden power that yeah, they, we they don't specify, know yet. They specify that people with the silver eyes are have a power over or some leverage over people but they, with they, the maiden powers. I don't think they implied that, but I think that it was more clear no, that the fall maiden it. power has a weakness. Like that's specifically yeah. what they said, where a silver eyes may not have one. But I think that the weakness she was talking about, and I'm just gonna kind of interpret what was said i think that the weakness would be that it cannot be used for evil like i think that's where it's kind of going that it isn't as powerful when it's the hands of that. someone bad i don't know about like that. i'm not sure but if there's any weakness to the maiden power i'm guessing that would be it i think it may Other just be than, like silver eyes thing i don't know i don't i don't think that they're this I know Silver Eyes is stronger, but I think that it just doesn't have a weakness. Where Fall Maiden Power has some kind of weakness that and hasn't I, and been I think she, I yet. think she, no, I think she like alluded to that weakness being the Silver Eyes. Anyway, I don't think that's what. It's whatever like. the whatever the case is, uh, we'll I, probably see that I later. I think that it you, we was, are, we already we stated I know, our opinion. But so. I think it was separate. I think that they're two separate things. Like, anyway, the Silver Eyes can kick your ass because the Fall Maiden has some kind of flaw to it. Uh, the flaw is probably Ozpin made it, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it's Ozpin's fault. Speaking of Ozpin... Speaking of Ozpin... C uh, Cinder, uh, Salem, Salem says that... Salem seems to think that Ozpin is dead. That, that Cinder, Cinder killed, killed Ozpin. But we not we don't see Ozpin die, and we see Crow <laughs> with Ozpin's cane, so we don't know if Ozpin is in fact dead just it's, yet. I think that Cinder lied about that. Like, I feel like that she... Doesn't, isn't entirely sure. She isn't entire. I don't think she's being truthful, because I don't think she wanted the shame to be brought on her, but Walt is yeah, still giving she, her shit anyway. Yeah, so... You know but, what I'm saying? But the, the the point of that whole scene is, is that Cinder is staying with, staying with Salem. You see Cinder, uh, sorry, Salem has preference, uh, like, she's quick to defend she, Cinder She does over. have a lot of preference, and I don't think that Salem, I think that Walt is just a dick. Yeah. Like, I don't think... I don't think Cinder failed at all, so I think I'm on kind of Salem's side there, like, defend Cinder. Um, yeah, defend a terrorist. But no, we haven't gotten to the, uh, their next, at the very end of the scene, you see that their next attack is, um... Minstrel. Minstrel. So uh, they're gonna we, attack Minstrel like they attacked Vale. Yeah. And then also... Attack that, Haven. They said that Haven. they were gonna attack Haven. Haven so Academy. So they're taking down all of the schools, basically. Basically, yes. Um, yes. now, it's interesting to note that Team Sun probably isn't at Haven anymore. Although we know that Sun's, Sun's with Blake. With Blake yeah. So maybe the rest of team... So maybe the rest of them will be there. Hunter, you're sitting on my paper. Right? So what, what we haven't mentioned, though, yet is what everyone's doing. So, so far, we don't know what Hazel's doing, really. says two words, but... Well, um, but what no, Tyrion... they all said what they're... No, no, we don't... Well, cause... Yeah, Salem told them all what they were going to do. Hold well, on. Well, not really, because we, yeah. we don't know what ha ha Hazel's yeah. doing. Yeah, No, we don't what's yeah. Hazel doing. Okay, so here's what's going on. So, Hazel says that they've dealt with Silver-Eyed Warriors before, and I'm trying to think about that. I think that's talking about Summer... Maybe. Um, yeah, Salem is treating Cinder. We talked about that. So, Adam arranged a meeting with the real leader of the White Fang for that's Hazel something else to we, go to. That, okay. That so is that's, what Hazel is doing. All right. So, that's, and we know her name is... And her uh, name is Sienna, Sienna Khan. And she is the real leader of the White, White Fang. Fang. Which not was, we assumed was... Which we assumed was Adam, Adam but I guess that he's not, not as high up as we thought. But also, something we didn't mention is that I'm trying to get to for the last three things is that, um, uh, what's his face? Uh, Tyrion is going to go, and where it was Cinder who used to chase after Ruby, what, uh, Tyrion was originally going to go and kill the Spring Maiden, but yes. instead is going to go after Ruby. Because, basically, this was, this, from that scene, this would seems like what happened. So Cinder, so Tyrion was supposed to go, again, go see the, go kill a Spring Maiden, but say, but uh, Cinder really wants Ruby to die. So Salem said, "Okay, go. Forget about Spring. Go, go after Ruby, kidnap her, and bring her to me." That's what Salem mm. said exactly. Um. So yeah, I think that's it for that. For that scene, then yeah. So, so. what everybody's doing right now? Watts is. Uh, working on taking down Haven or something. Yeah, so that's um, that's the last. Cinder's thing. getting her treatment. With Hazel's Spoon. going to the leader of the White Fang. Um. And then yeah, so we basically mentioned all that. Yeah. 
So Tyrion oh, is crazy. I love, I love how you put that Tyrion is crazy with one, two, three, four Zs. Yeah, four Zs. He is. Like, he is nuts. And I was like, oh, look at these generic white characters. You know what I mean? Like, they just, they look like generic anime characters. But then I, I appreciate Tyrion's personality because he is literally insane. And I like that. Anyway, so then it cuts to something so really strange. So he is going to kidnap Ruby. Yeah, that's what he said. They can't kill. But then it cuts to something really strange. We see of a boy. A boy we, farming. A boy farming. It's just a boy. It's a no cute context. Boy with freckles and little freckles, little green, green eyes, eyes, and he just he just farms, now, and we have no we don't know if he's a spring maiden. Possibly. I mean, he may be a woman. We never. I'm pretty sure that they are the spring maiden. He is. She I is. mean, we don't know, so I'm gonna say they. They are the Spring Maiden. Maybe those are the LGBT characters <laughs> that they were talking about. Maybe it's... I don't know. She might be a woman. You really don't hear her make any voices. So yeah. she could just be, like, a little girl, essentially. Yeah, so... So it's entirely possible we're thinking that... thinking that Spring... And she's gardening. Like, that seems like a metaphorical... Spring thing <coughs> to do, maybe. Yeah. Farming more so than anything. And then that happens, and it's just really sort of an aside and kind of weird... And you cut from that immediately to, like, we see Ruby and yeah. the remainder, cries, of, of Team, Team June. Juniper. Uh, so I said this and Hunter doesn't agree, but Nora seems, like, really not upset with Ruby, but I don't think she likes that Ruby's with them. No, really? She's That's just, kind she's of just, what I it's got. It's just they're making jokes about who, what their team name is, and she wants it to be Junior instead of Ranger. Like, that's literally it. It's just... I don't know. I think that you're reading too much in there. Maybe, but I think also, we'll figure out more. thank God. We thought... I was worried that the show would lose all sense of, like, happiness and, like, smiles and fun times. But no, they still keep a sense of humor. It isn't entirely grim. Oh, there after. is something else, actually, that I want to go back to. Is that there was a CH symbol on the farming equipment that... I'm going to say Probably doesn't Green mean. Eyes was using, and it had a crown on it, so maybe that's the kingdom of Min like property of Kingdom of Minstrel. Maybe. I don't really know. I want to know what the CH stands for, but we don't. I remember how you talked like about a, uh, like for like a minute and a half about like the wolf bookends, so I think maybe you have a talent <laughs> for looking in. That, that's not true. Where... That's not true, ladies It is absolutely general. true. Anyway, um, so th they go to fight this golem thing. Golem Grim, which we learn is sort of probably similar to the possession room that Weiss fought yeah. in the white trailer. It has, it's basically a ghost that possessed pieces of like broken rock. rock and trees. And the, fi the fighting scene was good. Uh, they have, everyone sort of has, not upgrades, well, I mean, some people like, uh, Ruby has new weapons. Like not new Nor weapons. Ruby new uses ammunition. new dust. New ammunition. Nora has, and has Ruby an do upgrade. a team attack, so that's interesting. Uh, Ren starts throwing his sword. Which he They're hasn't not done before. Swords, though. I mean, They're not like whatever guns, his things. weapons. And then John doesn't have a uh, John sword. doesn't have anything, and we find out later. Uh, but quickly, um, um, that the Grim kind of looked like a Dementor. Like yeah, <laughs> the fight it also was reminded fun. me a lot of the <sighs> guard armor from Kingdom Hearts. If you guys uh, play the game, it's basically sort of the same thing. You have to attack the head and the body because all of the other limbs just come off and fly around, like. I know a lot of Ruby fans are also Kingdom Hearts fans. Like, that seems to be the trend that I've seen, so that's It may just because you are both a Kingdom Hearts and a Ruby Maybe. fan. Maybe. So I can sniff find... them out. I can find them. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, then... so that was a good fight scene. Uh, so they go into the village, and it, the leader person seems to be very, like... Oh. My that that was interesting. So anyway, so then... The... Uh, so it's... Hunter said it's very Oriental inspired. I don't know if that's a bad word or not now. I think uh, Oriental actually just means like Southeast, like yeah. South Asian. But you you know what you mean. You know what I mean. Like yeah. sort of South I East We Asian. didn't want to say Chinese or Japanese if we're just culturally ignorant and we were wrong. <laughs> you spend too much time on Tumblr. Anyways. Um... So I was... So we were, we were looking at that and then we have a seen he was a very cool guy though the village leader or whatever yeah. they want to stick to their way of life and they'd rather have their way of life over their safety so it may show that minstrel has changed a lot from what its original values were like we know that the people there cherish a lot of the sky like the sky the earth all of that stuff 
Uh, but maybe for some reason that's changing because more people are coming into the kingdom from other places and those values are going away. So or I maybe think that, that would be interesting. Maybe that is just their values to begin with and no one is moving back. Well, what do you mean moving kingdom. back? Closer to the kingdom because he never specifies that. He, he just says that they want to stick to their way of life. And so yeah. I thought maybe something's going on in Minstrel where like there's a cultural change of maybe. some kind. Anyways. So then we have a scene where John gets new armor. Yeah, John gets new armor and... We learn that there is, in fact, a bunny under his shirt, which... Yes, that was... Uh, we talked about that, actually, in the Juniper thing, and Hunter didn't believe me. I had to try to, like, glitch John to show the bunny in his shirt. I believed you. It's just, like, you um, said that it was his sigil, and I'm like, I don't think so. And it wasn't, because it was just Pumpkin Pete. Right. So well, I maybe win. his mascot is going to be Pumpkin Pete now, because anyway. uh, that was a cereal with Pura on it, if you guys don't Speaking know. Speaking of Pura, um, the so crown that was all of left is Pura after Cinder got attacked. Got was, attacked. Um, also, we didn't mention this other thing, but Cinder can't speak anymore. Yeah, no, she we needs, talked about that, because Emerald is talking for Cinder, yeah, basically. Yeah, she's very injured. Cinder is really very beat up. quiet. Like, she just, she mumbles a lot to Cinder. Or? Not mumbles, like, it's like a burn, it's almost like sh her voice has been torched. Yeah. Like, it's very painful for her to speak. Anyways. As far as we know. Yeah, I mean, um, it looks looks like that. So... So then we have a scene where uh, Pura's uh, gold from her tiara, that was all that left of her, was melted her, and uh, used... Her circlet. Yeah, it was melted and used into his armor, which is nice. Which and also, was sad. he has a red piece of clothing, which... Which is Pura's sash. We assume, even though all of Pura was, like, disintegrated. Well, or it's just a representation of Pure Probably, Sash. Yeah. That was really sad, especially when they started talking about Pumpkin Pete's, because the first thing I thought about was Pura. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so then then they then they're off they're on oh, their journey there was an awesome faunus character that made them the armor like i just want to point that out there like they're giving a lot of personality to even minor characters and i appreciate that uh yeah that was a good faunus like he was a cool dude there was That's my new favorite character faunus armor guy number one there was also uh, we all, he also mentions that there is going to be a village that's been that's quiet. That's nearby. That's been, and that's yeah. where they move off to on their journey uh, to Haven, which is maybe where he, uh, they first fight Tyrion. Yes. Which is that possible? Also, they mention briefly mention uh, uh, the Schnee Dust Company when referring to their weapons, and you see. And Ruby, Ruby gets, gets really sad. Sad, sad like, for a brief moment. No, not a brief moment. Like, no, was, it was a brief moment. Uh, I know, it was but a half like, a, it was a turning glance. It was a half a second. It but was subtle. Her face was like, like she looked like she was gonna cry almost. I feel. No, I mean, okay. Then it cuts to the very last thing we see is, is Weiss, Weiss in Atlas sitting. Butler comes over, says she wants to talk to her father, and that's where the, the butler's ends. name is Klein. By yes, the way, Klein the if butler. If that's important, that's where to it anyone. Um, and this is that's the basically end it. Um, so. Yeah, I that was it. all of our talking points, I, really. I dug it. Now, so now we, we can like, just closing talk. thoughts, um, really. Yeah, closing closing thoughts, where the fuck is Neo? She wasn't <laughs> in the, Where is she? Okay, so just, like, did you like it? Because I really enjoyed it. I, uh, I some did people enjoy didn't it. like the new art style, but I, I really liked the I liked the cell shading. Although I noticed that... Um, there were a couple animation glitches. No, there was only one. At the very end, you look uh, when but it sort of pans even away. The even in the, the intro, though. Remember that the intro yeah. is part of the episode, even though we did something separate on it, Hunter? Yes. Right? So even in there, there were a couple of mistakes. Well, one, in the background that you have to pause to look at. Yeah, but, uh, but I don't but really... With this, it doesn't... But with this, you pan back and you notice that for a brief second, like, uh, two like two Noras are taking up the same space, but yeah. they're kind of... Stuck. It's, like, it's really nothing big. It's, it's just kind nothing, of funny. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but no, it, I did It's enjoy nothing it. that would make me like, oh, fuck Rooster Teeth. They didn't do a good They're job. lazy. You know what I no, mean? No, it's not that. Like, it's just funny. Mistakes for happen. Like, even in things like Disney movies, like, do you know how many mistakes there are in some, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. big companies make mistakes, too. So that doesn't really bother me. Like, unless it's so noticeable and they were just too lazy I'm not to fix it, them, like, I, I wouldn't have a problem. And this you know isn't, I mean? this is also isn't new. Like, I've yeah. noticed, like, graphical scripts before, but... I, I dug it. I like where it's going. Uh, the next episode is probably going to be very Weiss-centric because it ends I on... I don't know if I want them to do this rotation. Like, I don't know if I want them to go in order. Does that make sense per yeah, episode? I, see. I think, I think, I think that... think after they do the main four, then it'll change and be whoever mm -hmm. the story is. 
Actually, I'll, I wouldn't I, mind the weekly rotation, but... <laughs> her opinion changed I don't know. dramatically. I just, it, two things. Because I want to be able to remember what was going on with Ruby, Knowing you, right? you're like, probably going to watch this episode five more times. Well, in the you're time. not wrong, but I don't know. I feel like going back and forth is bad in some ways, but it's also good because it kind of gives you a break because I don't want everything to be about Ruby. Now I do want everything to be about Blake, uh, but at least this way it's kind of <laughs> fair, right? Until all the stories kind of interchange. Mm -hmm. So what really interests me in this episode were the new villains. They looked pretty generic, but they actually have some personality traits. I mean, Tyrion probably mostly, um, but... Anyways. Uh, but Wal Watts is just kind of your neighborhood dick, so hopefully he gets some character and why- Like, motives to why they're all doing this, like, obviously Broski's I mean, just nuts, but I, mean, I want to know why for the other two. Like, I mean, it's not like we were given any more reason with, you know, Emerald and Mercury. Well, I mean, kind of. Emerald was on the streets and yeah, Cinder took her in and Mercury just likes to kill people. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's Which may be the right? same reason for uh, Tyrion. We don't know what, speaking of, we don't really know what's going to happen to Emerald and Mercury. Well, I think Emerald and Mercury are just sticking around, right? I mean, because obviously. Salem likes Cinder and Cinder likes them, right? Yeah. So they're not going to get fed to the Grim anytime soon. Um, so that's... So that's, what do you what, what do you think's gonna happen like expectations because we were t you yeah. were making jokes like I want to see more Neo but I do think we're gonna have like vengeful I, yeah we, vengeful we are gonna Neo. see Neo eventually I think I think that if anything Neo will definitely get to Ruby before um, we're gonna see we're gonna see more of the White Fang we're gonna see the like the true leader the of true the true leader Fang. of the White Fang that'll be interesting also I like that they created some new faunas I know we talked about this in the intro already but it does look like that they are branching out like that. That guy looked more like a cow faunus than a bull. I mean, I guess cows are. You know I mean, what I mean? He's, I mean, I guess. He looked different from Adam ram? in how, yeah. yeah. He looked kind of like a goat or like a bull or something, and then. More than a bull than a goat. I hope that. What's her name again? Siren? Saren Khan? What's her name? I wrote it down. You spelled Khan wrong. Khan? I spelled it like Khan Man. Is that a problem? No, it's C K H A N Khan. Whatever. Um. What's her name? I just Sien remember that you spelled it wrong. Sienna. Con. Sienna. Thank you. I, I, I wrote it phonetically. <laughs> barely. Uh, <laughs> so I want to see what Sienna is exactly. I, I kind of want her to look vaguely like Blake. Like uh, be a cat faunus. And that's why Adam likes Blake so much. It's because he can't get with her and instead wants to settle for someone that looks <laughs> vaguely similar. Like I am just interested in seeing more Adam. Kind of, to hear more from uh, him and how... Because we only saw his bad personality. Not saying there's anything that can redeem him now because he hurt my little cinnamon bun. Um, but, you know, I just so, want to kind of see him. That's so what I'm looking forward this, this, to. This is what you want. Because I want, I want Neo, I want stuff like that. Uh, what do what do you think is going to happen? Because I think... What do I think in the next episode? I think Weiss... Oh yeah, obviously Weiss. I feel like... Papa Snee is gonna introduce that robot or whatever it is, yeah. the brother, like to Whoever her, that robot or some from the, the cousin. Like, oh, your cousin's here because I noticed you're kind of freaking lonely. So <laughs> here you go. Like, actually, maybe that's no. I think if Winter was married, we would have talked about that already. Yeah. So I don't think that's her kid. Um, but. Oh yeah, we it, get to see more Winter. More of Crow. Well, Winter wasn't in the trailer, though. No, she wasn't, but neither was... But neither were Merc... Yeah, but they're taking a bit of a backseat for now. Yeah. It might be a surprise element, too. Yeah, because you never know, because also, because like... Because Emerald and Mercury were in the first five minutes, but they weren't in the trailer, right? Yeah, so I think the rest of Team Sun will probably be with Blake. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't think so. Because that's, if that's they're going guessing. just for the faunus, like we think, we think basically, we well, discussed this a bit, that they're going to Marjorie to get this, like. Well, if that's all the case, then we don't people. know if, like, we don't know if, like, Velvet won't be there, too. Velvet being on her own would be very odd, but. Anyways, I want more characters like yeah, that to show up. I'm, I like I'm that. very glad. Uh, for Weiss's episode, though, I think it's going to be a lot of her fighting, like a lot of her... Because you see the that's trailer why, that That's why I'm really hoping angsty. they do more of 
Blake and although I think that Yang can definitely get up Yang into is trouble. Yang next. Uh, so if, no Weiss then Yang. No, presumably. I mean she's next after Weiss. I'm saying. What? Well, because you know these things. Well, they're apparently. going in the order of the kid. Yeah. Maybe. maybe yeah. Right. It'd I mean, be possibly. weird if they didn't. Now that they started. Um. I mean, this is all we don't know for a fact. Yeah, we it could, we don't fact, know. Um, I'm something that you need to remind. Cal what else am I while. excited for? I'm excited to see, yeah, new villain motivation. I'm excited to hear more about Ren's, you know, life and stuff. Uh, seeing more of Minstrel would be nice. What do you, what do you think? What, what else do you want? Eh, I mean, I'm just. Are you pretty much good? I'm pretty well good, essentially. Like, I just want to see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just want to see it further because I'm more interested with. I want to see more of Raven and Yang. Yeah. Because I feel like something's going to happen there. Did we talk? Was this where we talked about Yang being evil? I don't no, even you, remember you which talked, video it is anymore. No, you talked about Yang being evil in another in the thing. Intro, which I don't right? think is going to be the case. I mean, not evil, just like... Angsty. Like Raven, uh, where she goes off on her own and yeah, is I think, on her own path I think, of destruction. I think she's going to... I don't know if destruction is the word I'd use, but I think there's going to be a little bit of soul searching. I would there. also like to see Yang and Cinder empathize with each other, because Cinder has lost an arm it looks like yeah because she yeah did we talk about that how her sleeve yeah her sleeve we although... got a better view of it and it doesn't look like her arm's there if i'm perfect i don't honest. i don't remember if her arm was there or not we're gonna no, have to look I, but it's yeah, entirely I looked at it it's entirely it possible like that it she's got some like serious damage done to her yeah so it'd be nice if they could empathize but it seems like they're not, there's not gonna be a lot of empathy probably like they're gonna be on different sides of the yeah but i feel i I, I don't know maybe yang will be able to understand like maybe they'll try to use that as a manipulation point for yang and she'll resist Exist. that's what i mean Maybe. right uh but time can only tell i guess you know and i guess that's it for the episode yeah i mean i don't know what else we can talk about um no crow no sign of crow yet i was looking for birds we did see a flock of birds fly away but that Fucking was for hell. a different reason so no crow no like coffee or other sort of yeah. smaller teams uh, no Glinda, no Port, no... We did see Ironwood in the trailer, though, even though Hunter we wants to We don't know me. if it is, in fact, Ironwood. If, hey, man, Hunter, I'll, ha I'll Hunter happily... Ironwood just got buff over... I'll, no, because he doesn't look that skinny, so I'll happily eat my words. It's just, I don't know, he looks Oh, different. so that might be what we see in the winter. Yeah. We, we might see Ironwood and Papa Schnee having a talk. Yes. Because maybe, I don't know, maybe Weiss... And we don't know, maybe, like, maybe the... we if, as, if they go to... Like um, Haven, or they go to Atlas. We might see a bunch of the professors that were in. Yeah. Anyways, so that's uh, well. It. That was perfect because yeah. the game ended. Anyway, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Uh, so we. Nora totally, uh, totally carried you. Oh, uh, but I was wave MBF like five times in a row. I wasn't paying attention. I was. You were just running around the same thing. I'm like, oh yeah, we should do, we should do campaign. Like, no port, poor port. Fuck for it. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I We're we, going to do one of these for every episode. Yeah. I wish that we did a bit more analysis, but there wasn't too much to analyze. A lot of it was exposition and not metaphorical, like I miss, like I like. Uh, look, guys. You don't you don't understand. Like, you may think I'm mean because I, I sigh whenever she talks about metaphor, but she never stops. <laughs> I never stop. It's like, Thanks, ah, Hunter. what if that brick... Man, that's an interesting pillar over there. I wonder what that pillar represents. Maybe it represents the end of... No, it's just sometimes a cigar. Yeah, just a cigar, but sometimes yeah. they do represent things. And you have to admit that there is a lot of symbolism in the music and all that other stuff. So anyway, uh, Hunter's wrong and I'm right. Uh, so we'll see you guys later. This Thank remains you. to be seen. Thank see you ya. for watching. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.